1975, rock was a man's world. You dogs will be lucky to get a gig singing in the shower. Go sell Girl Scout cookies. Until... The Runaways, the movie based on the 1970s all-girl rock band of the same name, which featured Joan Jett and Lita Ford, will have a limited release in America on March 19, 2010, followed by a nationwide release on April 9th. The film is partially based on lead singer Cherie Curry's 1989 autobiography Neon Angel, The Cherie Curry Story, which details her childhood, the group's meteoric rise to fame, and her battles with drug and alcohol addiction. The film is written and directed by Floria Sigismondi and stars Kristen Stewart as Joan Jett, Dakota Fanning as Cherie Curry, and Scout Taylor Compton as Lita Ford. Artisan News caught up with Lita Ford recently at the Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp, and she shared her thoughts on the upcoming movie. That's probably not something we should talk about, huh? It, yeah, let's skip it. Ford and Jet don't see eye to eye and communication between the two has become strained since Kenny Laguna started to represent Jet. It caused a rift that started in 1985 and a source close to the situation told us that Ford hasn't seen the movie yet. The source also said Ford had nothing to do with the film and hopes Jet's camp portrayed her in an accurate way and added Lita was prepared to take the matter to court if she felt wronged. In a recent interview with Rolling Stone, Lita Ford wanted her fans to know that she had nothing to do with The Runaways, the movie. The article also said that she was appalled that Laguna offered to buy the rights to her life story for a thousand bucks and called it disgusting. In The Runaways movie, Aaliyah Shawcat plays the band's bassist, a fictional character named Robin, who was created due to legal issues preventing the portrayal of original bassist Jackie Fox. The Runaways follows two friends, Jet and Curry, as they rise from rebellious L.A. street kids to rock stars of the now legendary group that paved the way for future generations of girl bands. The film has already premiered at Sundance in 2010. The soundtrack features performances by Joan Jett, David Bowie, The Stooges, MC5, The Sex Pistols, Kristen Stewart and Dakota Fanning, and will be available for download on March 16th and in stores March 23rd. have the most chance of any group I've seen to tear this world apart. Oh.